SSH is a really useful tool to use to transfer files to and from your jailbroken iOS device and your computer or wherever. And it's really easy to install on your device. You can just go into Cydia and then on the front page of Cydia you'll see an open SSH access how to. So if you click on that, um, it'll give you a bunch of instructions. But really, the first thing and the most important thing you need to do is to install the OpenSSH package. Which you can just click the OpenSSH link there and you'll get this page. Now I've already installed it so it says modify up here, which you can't really see but trust me on that one. Um, and uh, that's really the only button you need to press. This is all just a bunch of information so you press that, it's going to say it's installing it and then when it's done installing it there's going to be a return to Cydia button. So the next thing you need to do to actually connect to your computer or use your computer to connect to your iOS device is to go into settings and then find your Wi-Fi and click on your Wi-Fi network put the little arrow next to it so we can get the information. Now I'm not entirely sure why mine is not displaying anything but yours should be displaying your IP address and you're gonna need that IP address to connect You'll also probably find that you have a bonjour, or um, I don't know what they're calling it now, zero config um, address, and that's going to be the name of your uh, of your phone. So it will be the name of your phone dot local, and you can actually go to your computer and connect to it that way. So let's take a look at how to do that. Once you've got OpenSSH installed on your iOS device, you just need to connect. So here's how to do it through the terminal in Mac OS X. You can also use some other SSH terminal on another platform if you'd like. Um, and you can also use some other applications such as an SFTP app, but we'll get into that in a second. First, let's SSH. The command is SSH, and then you're going to SSH root at your device's IP address, and then hit enter. If this is your first time connecting, you're going to want to let it know, yes, you want to continue connecting and then it will be permanently added and you're going to have to enter a password. By default your password is Alpine. So just enter Alpine. Changing your password is actually really easy once you're logged in. You just have to type P-A-S-S-W-D and then it will ask you what the new password is going to be and you type that in. And then you retype it for confirmation. And then you're done. Now your password is no longer Alpine, it's whatever you set it to and SSH is configured on your iOS device.